How's everybody doing today? This is my review of 2009's Infestation, written and directed by Kyle Rankin and shot on location in Bulgaria because it's less expensive to shoot there. The lead character, Cooper, who's played by Chris Marquette, I remember him mostly from the movie Just Friends, starring Ryan Reynolds, Amy Smart, and Anna Faris, which is a really fun movie. Uh, if you like slapstick romantic comedies, I definitely say check that out. Now back to Infestation. Infestation also stars Linda Park from Star Trek Enterprise. She's only in the film for, I don't know, the first few minutes or so. And it also stars veteran actor Ray Wise, who plays Cooper's overbearing ex-military father. To me, this movie is like Shaun of the Dead meets Them, the 1954 sci-fi giant ants movie. This movie has some subtle comedy, some surprisingly very well done CGI, the acting was well done, the script was well written, and it's just overall a very fun movie. The story is about a slacker named Cooper who wakes up covered in webbing and he uh, realizes that the world has been taken over by giant bugs and so he wakes up a group of people and they basically fight for their survival and uh, they, they try to fight off, fight off the bugs and they go to the big giant nest area as well and they have the final showdown there of course. There is, of course, the obligatory romantic storyline as well, and there is a surprising nude scene by Kinsey Packard that really caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that at all. There's also an interesting concept when you get bitten in the back by the big giant bugs that you later on become a bug and you're under their control. You grow all these extra legs and you, you do their bidding, essentially. And uh, that happens to a few different characters in the movie. And it also happens to a little tiny dog, which was really funny. I love this movie. I thought it was really well written. The acting was well done. Uh, the CGI was surprisingly well done. That really surprised me. I really enjoyed it. Overall, it's a very fun sci-fi horror comedy movie that I would definitely say check out. My only issue with the movie is uh, the way that it ends. It leaves you hanging and it kind of sets up for a sequel. I would definitely watch a sequel to this. I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, so if the sequel would be anything like this, I would definitely love it. And I enjoy the characters that did survive. I thought all of them did a great job, especially Hugo as well. But I just wish that it wouldn't have ended that particular way. And there really wasn't enough publicity for this film as well. Apparently it was shown in a few uh, film festivals and on the Sci-Fi Channel. And I had never heard of this movie ever, and I just happened to uh, see a trailer for it on another DVD I purchased. And I was like, this movie looks awesome, I gotta get it. And I just, I bought it, and I watched it, and I loved it. And it's just a lot of fun. There's, a, there's subtle comedy, and there's little references to other movies throughout the movie. It's just a lot of fun. I watched the director commentary as well, and in the very beginning, when Cooper wakes up, uh, right before that, you see the bug uh, basically hits the bites the side of his cheek, and he, he throws up. And at first, you know, I didn't quite grasp everything from there, but then from the director commentary, that's basically the only reason I would know what exactly happened in that scene or what the director intended. Basically, what the director intended was uh, the bugs hit the jugular, and that's how they disable them or kill them. And um, for whatever reason, you hear another person in the background like make a noise, so the bug missed the jugular and instead it hits Cooper in the cheek and throws up, and that's what enables him to wake up before everybody else. And then, of course, Cooper wakes everybody else up. And I would not have known that if I didn't watch the director commentary, so I figured I would pass that information all along to you, the viewers. Overall, I give this movie an 8.5 out of 10 stars. If it wasn't for uh, the end scene, I would give it definitely a 9. Now, this movie isn't going to be for everybody, but if you love low-budget sci-fi horror comedy movies, this is definitely a movie to check out. I really enjoyed it. This is just a fun movie, a popcorn movie, if you will, just to sit down and really enjoy. It's a fun movie. I highly recommend this if this sounds like your type of movie. And if you have seen this movie, definitely let me know what you think of it and leave me a comment down below. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care.